Hello, this is Cameron Craddock. I am visiting Dr. Stephen Lacante's lab at the Baylor College of Medicine to learn about their approach for performing real-time fMRI. Real-time fMRI was first described in 1995 by Dr. Bob Cox and refers to the analysis of fMRI data as it is being acquired. This simple cartoon illustrates a typical real-time fMRI experiment. As in any fMRI experiment, a subject performs a task while in an MRI scanner that is actively acquiring a 3D movie of the subject's brain activity. In a real-time setting, the MRI images are analyzed as they are acquired, permitting visualization of task-related brain activity, subject motion, and other task performance metrics. The brain activation can be used to provide feedback to the subject about their performance and allow the subject to interact with the computer or their environment. In this example, the subject is modulating activity in their left and right motor cortices to move an arrow. I asked Dr. Lacante to explain his contributions to real-time fMRI. Well, in 2007, my colleagues and I published a paper using multivariate predictive modeling to analyze fMRI data in real time. These methods estimate distributed brain patterns from fMRI data that are capable of predicting a subject's current brain state. Well, what's a brain state? That's a good question, Cameron. When I'm talking about brain state, I'm really referring to the fact that we can predict what the sensory or behavioral conditions are for the individual at the time each image is being acquired. In other words, what are they doing or what are they perceiving? So how does brain state prediction work? Well, two things are relevant, the brain images and what those images mean. In other words, what are the labels of the brain state? So for training, we actually use both. Uh, in the scanner, we give the person a task and we know then what the, what the stimulus parameters are that belong to these images. That allows us to generate a model linking the images to different types of sensory conditions or behaviors. Once we have that model, then we can actually run the scanner in testing mode. And in that case, we can decode from the images what the sensory or behavioral conditions were. So we could use that decoded brain state then as a feedback signal to actually control the stimulus that's being presented. Now it is time for a demonstration. Jonathan Lazinski has volunteered to go into the scanner to perform a real-time motor feedback task. A localizer and anatomical image are acquired. Then a few functional images are acquired and thresholded to construct a mask which will be used to reduce the amount of data to be analyzed. Now training can begin. Jonathan will be cued to press a button in his left or right hand. His performance is monitored using AFNI's real-time capabilities. As the images are acquired, subject motion is estimated and displayed. We can also see a trace of Jonathan's left and right button presses. A correlation map shows the regions of Jonathan's brain which are active while he is performing the task. Behind the scenes, a classifier is being trained to distinguish between left and right motor activity. After the classifier is trained, testing can proceed. Jonathan is again instructed to press buttons with his left or right hand. As fMRI images are acquired, they are classified and the result is used to move a bar to the left or the right. The bar's motion is determined from patterns of Jonathan's brain activity and not output from the button box. Again, Jonathan's performance is monitored in real time using AFNI. Real time fMRI is an exciting technique that expands the capabilities of fMRI in several ways. If you are interested in establishing a real time system of your own, all of the required pieces are available in AFNI free of charge. For more information on Dr. Lacante's research, visit his website. I would like to thank Dr. Stephen Lacante, Jonathan Lazinski, Jason White, and Darina Papagiorgio for helping make this film. Dr. Lacante would like to acknowledge his funding support. Thank you for watching this vignette on real time fMRI.